Are we up and good now? Okay. I think it's running. I think we're back. Welcome back into the stream, everybody. Um, let me let me post a message in Discord. I think, let's see, may I draw our attention to Mo the Clown, who Von Karma quite literally made a deal with in the middle of the courtroom, so he would provide a testimony. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So I, I it might have been OBS losing its mind. I genuinely don't know. Um, but we, we are officially back. Y'all can hopefully see and hear me. I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that everything actually looks good and fine. We are still not done. The case is still happening. I'm finishing this today. We still have another 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes to finish this. Ah, so I got a VR Minecraft working on Hino server. Yo, let's go, dude. Nice, stranger. I honestly wasn't expecting you to be able to get that up and running um, while we were still hanging today. All right, we need to make sure. Okay. It looks like we're good. I think everything's good. Uh, go ahead, Your Honor. I forgot what was happening because of panic over my PC. But I think we're good. I would just like to know... Can you provide an explanation as to why Acro would want the Ringmaster dead? Uh, yeah, no, we had a- we had a major whoopsie breeze. We did, and it wasn't my fault. It really wasn't. But we is back. If- if you're currently- I mean, I- I was gonna say, if you're currently not seeing stream reloaded, but, uh, usually when stream crashes like that, you have to either close the app or you literally can't hear- Gosh dang it, it's not Bald's fault! I am not bald! <laughs> now that we've come this far, there's no way I could answer. No, I can't. Oh, this is gonna be good. Very well then. Please enlighten the court as I save scum to victory. Let's see some evidence that proves Acro's motive for killing the ringmaster. It's the note. Take that. Um. Let me just go over this one more time. This is why Akro killed the ringmaster. That is correct. I don't think the defense would mind confirming something for me. What exactly are we supposed to learn from this piece of evidence? What? What are you supposed to learn? Hmm. Looks like you just won the award for the biggest failure in court. Wait, what? Okay. So it's the scarf. Um, wait, what? What? How was it neither of those? Okay. So if it's not the scarf, and it's not the note, is it the papers for salary negotiation? What? What? I was so sure. What is Acro's motivation? I'm wait, no, 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 no. I did not mean to do that. I clicked a button. What if it's bad? What if we present bat? No! Let's see here. Ah, oh, yes. Max Galactica. Ace Attorney's Drake, honestly. What is up, Average? How you doing, my dude? Um. Uh, I shall take me leave. Hey, you were all good, Tear. You go get some driving in. It is always good to see you, my friend. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Is it the pepper shaker? I'm... Okay. Uh, I will not be wearing makeup. I will not be having fun with makeup because I'm not wearing clown makeup. Okay, what is our evidence? You know what? The other... This could be it. I uh, drove the first time today. Also with my dad's neck when I break too hard. You know, it's all a part of the learning process. It is, but that's awesome, dude. 
how to feel being behind the wheel of a car for the first time. All right, I think this is it. I think it's Leon. No! I... Unless I'm supposed to present Regina because he was actually trying to kill her? I'm so lost. We're on a roll. Uh, so you pre-ordered the investigations collected? Yo, let's go! Have you kicked it or... Yeah, because it did come out. Have you kicked it off yet? What is it? Four euros for five extra OSTs? Oh, damn. That feels a little excessive. Uh, definitely not my proudest financial investment. Hey, but you know what? You're gonna have some fun with it, and that's all that matters. Um... What proves his motive? Sean, while you start stream over an hour late, <laughs> catch dang it, Haley. I can't. Um... There's no reason to kick it off right now. It's a finished investigation. It's like two months ago. Oh, no! Well, you know what? You got it for whenever you feel like going back and returning to it. So at least there is that. Um... What is your motive? So it's not the scarf. It's not the letter that was placed in Regina's pocket by Acro calling someone a murderer. It's not the pepper shaker. Not Leon. Is it, am I gonna say it's Max? I, okay. I'm really lost. Yes, look. What is it? Because I don't feel like he was trying to kill Russell. I'm still saying he was trying to kill Regina. Is it Max? Maybe something related to Bat? So, I... I tried presenting... The Scarf. And we got knocked. Except they changed the characters' names, but they had to. It would have been stealing otherwise. Yeah, that's fair. Let me just double check. That is incorrect. Yeah, so that's not the right answer. Like, there's no way we don't have evidence for it. Something related to bad. with the uh, release every single game apart from the latent collab has been released. That is really awesome that it has. I hope at some point they do actually re-release the, uh, the latent collab. Is it the box? I'm... Okay, there's something major that I'm just not making the connection for. I, see, I even tried just bat, and that, unless I just had to go further down the dialogue, that was also incorrect. Like... I'm... Tried the scarf. We tried the note, but I'm, I'm gonna click through the dialogue just to make sure, but again, it starts off the same, so this should exactly be... Yep, biggest failure. I genuinely might have to look this up, because the only things that make sense, there's also potentially the Ringmaster's paper, because maybe it was jealousy over Max's treatment. Or the promo poster. There would also be jealousy over Max's treatment, but none of those are right. Uh, Minecraft PR or VR is pretty wild. I bet, dude. Uh, they have to get approval from level five, so it's basically responsible for 80% of the game. Oh, that's fair. 
why you can't choose any evidence. There's no motive here. Maybe that's the correct answer. Maybe I made a mistake. Where was the other save? This should be before... Oh, no. I have to skip through some stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Too far. Because you're right. Maybe there is no motive for him. Because he wasn't trying to murder him. That would make a lot of sense. Also, not the first time we've had to redo because Sean didn't save Scum properly. Even the courtroom mechanics were thought out by the Leighton team? Really? I did not know that the Leighton... Uh, Ace Attorney games were that heavily led by the Leighton team. That's really cool. Okay. Shut up, shut up. You know what? Actually, screw it. We're just gonna have to take a loss and then say no evidence. Because I think it comes back down to the note. Okay. I know. I'm a failure. I am the worst. There is no evidence. Nick? Yeah, I don't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Akro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Akro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. Ow! Your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools is so foolheartedly foolish. Did you forget you made an accusation against the witness, did you not? If you ever played it, you'll definitely realize it's a latent game with Ace Attorney add-ons. Alright, I I feel like at some point we're gonna have to check it out on the channel. So I'll be really, really intrigued to see just how much of it is truly a latent game with Ace Attorney add-ons. I believe it was... This is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes. That sounds about right. The end of things! Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? But some of those mechanics got into Great Ace Attorney? Okay. The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you say? I'm saying that the target of the Witness's murderous plot was not the Ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. That's right, Von Karma! Let's go! Order! Order! Bailiff, I don't care who it is. Smack anyone who's loud in the face. Twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in my court? Oh! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in this courtroom? Are you attempting to imply that Acker was trying to kill someone else? Yes. It's the note. This is- OW! My evidence- OW! What are you doing? OW! So we're talking about if we ever try to get into Leighton again. Um, so that happened with the first game and all. You know, I... I don't know that I'll ever try to do them on the channel again. Because I feel like gameplay-wise, it's just a little bit too harsh on my brain. I can admit I am a small brain dum-dum who does not always use the most of my mental capabilities. So things like that, also with that level of, like, reading attached to puzzle solving, it can be a little rough. So I don't know if we ever will. I'm not going to say never, because there are some things that I have said we're never going to do on this channel, and we have done. Sean playing Minecraft, us very briefly trying I love you, Colonel Sanders. Like, I've learned to never say never. But I will say, at the moment, it's not in the plan. We'll see again, because I, I really did enjoy it. And if anything, I gotta play him on my own. There's 14 more where that came from. Hold it right there! You can take your time with the other 14 later. What for now? Let me see that evidence once again. Wasn't there an Ace Attorney Layton crossover? Yeah! Yeah, we were just talking about it, stranger. Ah, I'm so scared of what'll happen. You can't even move to give him the evidence. What?! asked you for something. Where are your manners, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Are you attempting to imply that Acker was trying to kill someone else? Regina. Oh, I goofed in doing the letter first. It's Regina. Regina Barry? 
This young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro. You were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Objection! You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited, leading question. Objection! You could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all he has to do is say you're wrong. That's it. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough! Mr. Wright, allow me to... Her! The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself! Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence now! I want to know why Acro wanted to kill Regina Barry. Yes! Me too! I'm gonna save scum, cause I goofed earlier. I demand to see more proof. Sean actually read what they asked for you this twice in a row. You could avoid it be you know, but but here's the thing, I don't like to read. Okay. I feel like the evidence has to be the note. It could also be the scarf. But I feel like the note's gonna kick it off. His brother exactly. But the note that was put into Regina's pocket by him has to be the answer. Acro, you remember this, don't you? Oh, the birds go away. That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat! Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. The purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called Russell Perry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Barry. Boom! Order! Order, order! Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours... It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note. It's a game theory! <laughs> Stranger. That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. That's... That's... That's incredible! Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? Lifting the bust and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted the kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it! I've got it! Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he let the bust fly. Free titties. I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done. Hey, Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's owing or it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Acro wrote this note to Regina! Foolishly foolish fool- I'm not reading that. Nope. Enough of the foolish! Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure about this, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes. What about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Barry, it would mean that- This note is declaring that Regina Barry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what that note meant. 
Which is why he went to the plaza. In place of his lovely daughter. Boom! He was the one who put Pepper on the scarf. Stained with blood and a small quantity of pepper. Hence why the pepper bottle was found inside the wooden box. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is alluded to in the notes? The incident six months ago. An incident occurred six months ago. And now I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron. I have no idea. It was tempting to meme it. Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? I'm so sure that I'm going to save scum. It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has its start in what happened six months ago, so not sure at all. I'm like 99% sure, but that 1% is being real loud right now. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. So not sure. Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about this incident six months ago is actually... It's Leon. Um, wait. Are you kidding me? Alright, so it's the handkerchief. That, that doesn't, or the scarf, excuse me. The scarf makes more sense. We'll do the scarf. I was like, okay, if this is what the incident was, it is specifically Leon. I wasn't thinking broad enough. Or I wasn't thinking specific enough. What? Or is it the pepper shaker? Why am I- you know what, it's- I'm gonna blame it on the internet crapping out, okay? It threw me off my game. It messed with my rhythm. Or rhythm. Words. I can't do them very well. Alright. So the conclusive evidence about the event- or wait a minute. It's bad. Okay, is it just me, or does it feel like this case is being a little obtuse? Because we tried Leon and it didn't work. We tried Bet. Do I do Acro? So you're blaming the internet. Okay, so that's not... Conclusive oh, wait a minute. No, it is the pepper shaker. It's the conclusive evidence in the note. I did not read. Ah, uh, you haven't seen investigations 1 through 5 yet? I'm terrified of what that's gonna be. Hmm. Achoo! 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 What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix? Right? That is genuinely, needlessly long case. Is it really? I'm a little scared for how long it's going to take us to get through that when we get to it. It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. What do you mean? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Barry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Objection. Foolish f Oh my god, stop with the foolish! If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question right after I save. Who was Regina Barry's intended victim? It was Bat. Who is this? That is Akro's younger brother. Objection. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that is true. 
However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Acro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina! She did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. Huh. Lion? Regina, I mean Miss Regina Berry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not her. I wasn't on purpose. Hmm. So then what happened to Acro's brother? He's not the victim of an attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with our theory. Do you think what happened to Bao was an accident? It was an accident. It was absolutely an accident. I suppose it was truly an accident. It's essentially that a man knows, or it's essential that a man knows when to give up, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hmm. It's impossible to prove Miss Perry's involvement in a murder attempt, isn't it? Ha! Intact. We're investigating a lion to attack. We're instigating a lion to attack. Who ever heard of something like that? And to think that the defense claimed that this was conclusive evidence. Uh. A small bottle of pepper. A lion. What's their connection? Ah! What's the matter, Nick? I figured it out. Wow, it was right in front of my nose the entire time. Your Honor, wait. What is it? The lion biting bat was no accident at all. What? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There's no way that Regina would incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Acro's brother, Bat. It's the scarf. That's... that's just a scarf. Acro? The scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the one that gave this scarf to Bat? Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina! There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the incident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um... Excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal- That's some unfortunate phrasing, Judge. But out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um... Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? It still seems like the Judge just doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix? Right. Wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling! The lion was smiling! Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lions... smile. I've never heard of them smiling, however. Lions sneeze? <laughs> Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. That's right. That's right. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. Oh. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. What? You fool. That's right. That's right! You've got to be kidding me! 
What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I... I object for... Objection's sake. Um, that's not how court works, lady. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you! This theory, you believe it? You really intend to say that this is... How this... Choke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper. And that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident. Or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was... true? Uh, Agro? You don't mean... You can't mean witness! Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? Same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster, what is the evidence that proves that claim? You hit it. Ah. Uh, hmm! You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon. Or the lack thereof, to be more precise. The murder weapon. The bust that was used, or the defense claims was used. That would be found in Acro's room. And if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you've got to do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, this case is ours. Um, let's go ahead and request it. The defense requests to search the room of the witness Ken Dingling. We saved so we can always go back. <laughs> what is it now? Looks like you still haven't figured things out, have you? By now you must know the meaning of Von Karma's total justice. You mean... Avon Karma never leaves anything to chance, so you stole it. We already searched Akra's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akra would not be here as a witness. That is a lie. But to a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bus wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Acro's di or Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> Looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. But, but... What about the scarf? What about the note? Uh-oh. What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Which there is no murder weapon. Ah! Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bust, where is it now? Hmm. Where is the bust right now? You're Phoenix Wright. You know where the bust is. I'm sure you do. That's right. We know where the titties are at all times. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? Did I mess up? 
Oh no. It seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter-argument looks to have fallen short. Wait. Wait. Thank you for your support. Ah! Okay, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, thank you! Gumshoe? Gumshoe! Where is Max's bust? I don't know where the bust is, but I know how to bust some moves starts twerking. <laughs> Average. The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. I mean, case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. And I just bit my tongue. Huh! What? We need time to do. Ow! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do, do you really have uh, a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey! Wait, you can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna be honest. We would finish this next week anyway. We have technically hit the two hour mark, but also Caitlin's gonna be at work a little bit later today. So we will. We will be finishing this. The internet did not stop me. We're finishing this fucking case! Very well! The defense may proceed. Aid, she deliberately slows me down every time, Francisca. Calling her on a or calling her an aid is like calling it the great cook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can do it. Appreciate you, Breeze. Appreciate you, homie. He doesn't have a clue. And I think he'll or I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walk in the tightrope of logic. There's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. Focus, Sean. I got this, Bruce. Focus. I got this. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bust now? I'm gonna save. I have a wild claim. It's either the lodging house or the courtroom. I'm gonna say courtroom. I have a weird suspicion that it's either on him or she's hiding it. It's obvious. The bust is inside this very courtroom. How dare you, stranger. I'm not answering the door. I will not be distracted. It's... It's obviously where. Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bust once and for all. I'm gonna save over the second one. Because I still don't know for sure if I'm right on this, as you can tell from my cracking voice of confidence. It's the witness stand. Silence. Acro. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off of your wheelchair? Mom, who's at the door? <laughs> oh, it's just the skinwalker. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy. And you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be real easy to hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I know it's pretty potters, but no way to blankies here, please. Yeah, no, honestly. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday, but <laughs> under with it. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have all been over. Which is why you had to hide it. In the only place you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! 
How could you? Boom! Let's grow! You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? There's Francesca von Karma and Mr. Felix Wright. You see, Derpy, your brain is starting to think in an ace attorney way. It's taken a long time, but I appreciate the props. And the knowledge and acceptance of me finally becoming an ace attorney. And by that I mean thinking in the most buck wild of theories. That <laughs> shot has a brain. It's very small. It is very, very small. But it's there. What? It's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Gina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust... Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. Now, the question is, why would he keep it on him? And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court, hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm! It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing! Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. No, I sure couldn't. Yeah, no, she's mad. I can't believe it! Me! Make a mistake! Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that! That one's on you? It seems we've finally arrived at the truth. Akro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of Barry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Barry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. Oh, my brother wanted. It. It's for Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. But Gina believes in that so purely. That she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently. Uh, yeah, no, she acted recklessly. I, I don't think she deserves any kind of criminal punishment, but there is no denying the fact that Regina did essentially have to do with... The, yeah, no, I, I think charges of endangerment is, like, the least she deserves. Because um, she is completely responsible for that. She should have... I mean, like, she, she knew she put Pepper on it. So as soon as he was like, oh, yeah, no, I will totally go put my head in the lion... She should have thought and said, no, <laughs> book her for boy slaughter. <laughs> I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. So when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you were a victim in all of this? No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. First I thought I'd kill myself, and I wanted giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. It's because of his brother, isn't it? This has been such a strange case. 
It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. They certainly couldn't get up anyway. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty! I finished it before September was over, let's go! I got a little excited. This court is adjourned. Let's finish this sucker off. And celebrate the fact that I don't have to wear clown makeup! Come on, stranger, that's fucked up. They can't even stand up for themselves! <laughs> Average! Oh, and finally onto a good case. I'm really curious to see what the next one is. Ethan, my dude, you did. You made it in just in time for us to celebrate. Victory. Sweet, sweet victory. Fabulous. But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about it. Akron, Remaster, Regina, and Pat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? Yeah, that was all just a very serious, or a very large series of unfortunate events. That's a good question, and what I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only a max, or only a max, a million of them. How many times did you quick? Yeah, the quick save rescued me a lot today. I gotta be honest, the end of this case, some of the wording made it a little bit difficult to kind of figure some shit out. Even though we knew what the answer was, I couldn't figure out what the right, essentially, pieces of evidence were to get there for a couple of moments. But we got there. We did. And we will forever save Scum. Thank you. What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Akron. No, 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 no! If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever. And never be happy! You know what, Mo? You actually got a good point here. Huh? Well, She's been like this for a while now. Yep. It's all my fault. Sweetie. Sweetie pie. Bat and Acro, they're never coming back. Now, now everyone's gonna split up. Regina. Mr. Wright, tell me something. What do you want to know, Regina? I said something right at the end. Does that mean that Acro is going to try and get his revenge on me? No, he's talking about his brother, Regina. You want to do right by him? Take care of his brother while he's in jail. Or potentially put to death. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, they do kind of kill murderers here. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's not going to do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? You're really sure? I can't believe that. Yeah, that's a big ol' oops. Yep. <laughs> Just lay off the pepper, Regina. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making up that stuff about Acro not wanting revenge. Um... Is it bad? Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Bad? That's right, but you know, he's still alive, you know? I never knew. But now that Acro's been caught, uh, I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Till he opens his eyes, and then until he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Giddy, you guys. Acro Bat. Dear Acro Bat is the funny name. I'm sorry. I'm, that was a little insensitive because we are talking about a man who is in a coma. And another man who's just been sentenced to jail for murder. <laughs> I hate it here. You know you love it, stranger. You keep coming back for more. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. 
Let's see here. <laughs> bald. You know what? The bald ain't gonna stop it. I'm still gonna make the bad joke, stranger. Hey, Max. What is it, Moe? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen at the circus now? Ah, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. Staff, the performers. No one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. Is he gonna run the circus? What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus the world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. Don't laugh! That's quite or that's that's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fa- or super fabulous! What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina. You're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh, we gotta work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. Mo. Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Berry. Max. Nick. Seems like everything is gonna turn out all right here. Can't wait to see the best circus the world has ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats! <laughs> That's the last time you guys get a clown laugh out of me. That's it. That's the best you're getting! We did it. Let's see. Who made the case? Yesterday's a pride raid. Well, they paid off just like you said it would, sir. Um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. A GAME THEORY! I'm sorry, I'm done. Vakro really was the killer. I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? I know who that is. Come on. Come on, show his face! Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Akro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you. Mr. Edgeworth, let's go! Fucking mic drop moment! Yee! Edgy's coming back! And we finished the case! Let's fucking go! Bam! Bam! Oh, hey, is that... Is that the final case of the second game? We might actually finish this second game before the year's over. How long did that take in the end? Um, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Can we see how many hours I put into this game? How many hours? Oh, wait a minute, playtime. <laughs> well. Now the question is, uh, <laughs> can we finish the second Ace Attorney game without crossing the 100 hour mark?
<laughs> I'm excited, especially with you guys, like both you and Bree saying it is one of the best, if not the best. Hold up, finish the game before the year is out. No, we can do it. I know, average. I done goofed. I done big time, or big time goofed. <laughs> Tanned genitals Tuesday. Honestly, though, honestly, well, goddamn, that was a, uh, that was a hell of a finish. It's, uh, That's, that's, that's 89 hours. It has taken me 89 hours. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's the Pantheon. Hey, fair enough. Um, uh, my personal favorites are 3, 5, and 6, 5. All right. Bet. I'm really excited as we keep getting further in. Um, I keep waiting to see if games 4, 5, and 6 as the remake end up getting uh, dropped for a decent sale, but it hasn't yet. So if we do get to that point where we're going to kick one of them off and it hasn't actually hit a sale yet, um, we, we might just straight up go the old-fashioned way. Might sail the seven seas to a certain extent, and that is all I will say because we do things totally legally around here. And I would never emulate a game that I do not own. Never ever. Um, <laughs> yar! Um, exactly. Yeah, no, we can, we can actually do it now. Um, well, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out, for dealing with the internet hiccup that we had, that's honestly, it's surprising it's been this long since we've had an issue. Uh, that's true. Denuvo is gone now. I'm not gonna do anything illegal. And I'm sure the game will be on enough of a sale at some point before we finish the third game. That I can definitely pick it up. Uh, even for the investigations collected? Fair enough. Uh, we're going to plan a trip of the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Ooh. Oh, that's super sick. I hope you end up finding a good travel buddy, my dude. I... That, that does sound like it would be awesome. But I am... Landlocked to paycheck to paycheck, unfortunately. Uh, free 99, exactly. The best price. They literally removed De Nouveau before it even dropped. Oh, wow. That's honestly surprising of them. That's super dope. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. For for waiting around for us to finally finish the third case of the second case attorney game. We're getting there. I'm I'm not for sure. Because it, it means we have to do it in essentially like six weeks. So actually, no. We're definitely not beating the second game before the year is over. Because we'll, we'll have like a week where we do some Christmas themed stuff as we get close to the end of the year. Um, so maybe I'll walk that one back, but I will, well, no, we're not going <laughs> to, we're not going to be able to finish an entire case in less than 11 hours, considering who I am as a person. Um, but we'll see what happens either way. I'm excited to see more of this with you guys. Um, we won't be picking up Ace Attorney again until after or after October. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do is a nice little, like, one week in between something. I think I know what it's gonna be, but I gotta make sure it's something that we'll actually be able to finish in a single stream. Um, but it should be a blast. It should be fun. It's something I've had sitting in the backlog for us for a couple of months now um, that I think will be a nice thing. I legit can't, uh, can't get anyone to go with you. I'm so sorry it's been that much of a fucking search to do it. I genuinely would be down if it was actually feasible, but it is... It is not. We, we broke bitches in this household. Um, but thank you guys so fucking much for coming and hanging out. It is always such a goddamn blast. Um, and I am so grateful to each and every one of you for giving me the time that you do. We are going to be back tomorrow, obviously. Uh, it's it's not Final Fantasy fourteen. I'm sorry, stranger. I am sorry. Um, also, let me check a thing, because it's been a minute since we've actually looked. Um, let me go to the dashboard here. What is our actual subtotal? Because I know not everyone actually, I mean, some people are just on an automatic subscription, so not everyone actually sh sees uh, or mentions when they sub. So let me see, what is our actual total right now? God damn it. We are currently at 69 subs for the month of September. So you know what that means, chat? You know what that means? Whale. It, it does indeed mean whale, but that also means that at some point during the month of October, there will be a clown-made stream. 
it is happening. You guys have reached that goal. I knew it was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting it to happen silently. It, it looks like it, it came from someone having their resub go off yesterday. That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> clown make or clown made no makeup. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no more subs. Because again, I won. I did the thing. I don't have to buy clown makeup for one singular meme stream. I'm very glad I don't have to because that's real adult money that I would have had to spend. It also would have been some of your real adult money that I would have been spending on clown makeup for a single meme stream. Ah, uh, to be fair, it's probably... Yeah, no, that is true. It probably would only cost a couple of bucks, but still. I'm glad we don't have to do it. I'm glad Caitlyn doesn't have to either help me attach the clown makeup to my face or come home in the middle of me looking like a hot clown. I like Caitlyn being around. <laughs> and I think there are some lines where it might be too much. Uh, exactly, I say four dollars. Now you can go buy yourself a candy bar. Fucking honestly, dude. That's that's about what it is these days. I hate it here. You will always be our hot clown. Appreciate you, stranger. Just because we ain't wearing the makeup don't mean we ain't a hot clown. And again, I still gotta I gotta just pick out the pieces rather than actually buying a preset costume because it just looks like there's gonna be no luck. Uh, I know, not even a king size for that price. Um, but thank you guys so fucking much for coming and hanging out. We will be back just means Sean will have to wear a mask. <laughs> that would be so uncomfortably warm, stranger. Um, we will be back. I still have beard fibers from that fucking Viking beard in my own beard. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with our usual earlier than usual stream for Wednesday. Um, playing some more Crypt Custodian as we are now halfway through the second last week before Spooktober is here. I hope you guys are ready. I am, uh... I sincerely hope that we get that extra 31 subs. That way we can do the 8-hour stream on the 31st so we can have a nice long-ass stream right before we kick off Spooktober. Um, but either way, we got some great times ahead before we hit Spooktober, and I cannot wait for everything with you all. October is gonna be huge, you guys. Like, we, we got some... We got some really fun games planned and some really fun things planned, and I hope you guys are excited. Uh, appreciate you, Ethan. Appreciate you, my dude. Um, but sadly, that is going to be where things end today. As always, thank you guys so fucking much for coming and hanging out. We are going to be serenaded by the man himself, Victor, a.k.a. Halo Fair on the way out. Do yourself a favor. Go listen to the man's music. He makes some incredible stuff. Thank you guys for sticking with us through some very unfortunate internet issues. Again, it comes as no surprise, because Texas, but at least we we recovered. At least it wasn't a, oh, fuck, um, Sean has to cancel streams the rest of the week and go have a fist fight with Spectrum because they're starting to throttle him. Thankfully, that ain't happening, but thank you guys again so very much for coming and hanging out. I cannot wait to see you all tomorrow, but until then, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. Have a wonderful Wonderful start to your Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. It's throttle spectrum for throttling me. A hundred percent. Have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday. Have a wonderful, wonderful start to your Wednesday. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Earlier in the day slash afternoon, depending on where you're at. Love you guys. In the arms of the derp, fly away. To the dark stream from this dark, cold retail store. Seriously, screw retail and the endless derp you feel. You are pulled from the derp of your silent, eternal dark. You're in the arms of the dark. May you find comfort in this stream. Welcome to Sergeant Herb Derpstrand. <laughs>